welcome i uh, hope this finds you well we are going to draw the development of a frustrum of a square based pyramid and our question is draw a development of a frustrum of a square based pyramid whose uh, vertical height is 60 millimeter and the base side is 30 millimeter assume the pyramid uh, is such that the two sides of the base are parallel to the vertical plane and the pyramid is truncated by a cutting plane that is 30 degrees at the third fifth uh, millimeter mark on the vertical axis we have an illustration here of what we are going to uh, use as a guide that is the pyramid that has been cut by the cutting plane at that point at five and then the vertical height is 60 and the base side is 30. now we proceed by drawing a square base that is the plan which is going to act as the uh, as the plan and then we project so that we can have the front that will appear to be like a triangle then we we go to the development part so we have drawn the base and the base is a square and now we want to draw our front and for a front it means we are going to project from the base so we expect to have lines projected up and before we have those lines we can have our baseline x y add this our baseline x y we can now have our vertical lines projection Now for us to have the plan of a pyramid, it means we are going to join the vertical, the diagonals. The diagonals gives us the center point, give us the center point, which will act like the vertex on our front. And therefore we are going to draw a vertical line, which is the axis. Now on that axis we shall measure our CBST, the vertical height or the altitude. And that one gives us point O. The vertex and we join them, we join the point to the base. We can now name the size of our, our base, square base, as 1, 2, 3, 4, or A, B, C, D. Which can be projected back to our front as A, B, and as C, D. Once we have done that, we are going to measure that 5 millimeter from the base to give us to have a point where the cutting plane will pass through. Now we are going to have our line 30 degree. So we have truncated that and we have gotten the first one. The first one is this part, the base, and that is the, the, uh, the one we are going to 
to project uh, so that we come up with the derivative. Now, we can say that from here up to here is uh, a true length because if this is a square, we expect our pyramid to and now this is the distance we took as 30 so we cannot say that we are going to have this one as our true length okay and that means we, we need to get our true length and our true length is this vertical this line how do we get it we are going to make oc to be parallel to to be parallel to the to the xy plane and how do we do it we use a compass by center c and before that we draw a straight line through a Now with center O and OC as the radius, we draw an arc. So the arc meets that line and we draw it so that it meets XY. Now where that line meets the point, we can call it M. So you're going to join O to M. Now OM becomes our true length. Now how are we going to develop? We are going to transfer our point O so that we, we need actually to develop so that we have some space. We cannot develop it above so that it cuts through the, the title. So we are going to transfer point O to move downwards a little bit. And this one we can use set squares. So we can pick one of the, a point on that line and we call it O. Then we can take distance OM and transfer. To our line now we are going to draw an arc with radius of M and now we are referring to this like point A so we are no longer going to call it M but we are calling it point A because uh, point C not A because it is the same point we brought it to become a parallel to XY this is point C so we call it point C and now we draw an arc a 
after we have drawn an arc we are going to transfer point a b c d d a on our our arc by carrying the distance of the side of a square the base they should be four Next, we shall note that our cutting plane meets these lines, this line A, B going upward at O, it meets here, and the center line meets here, and this other one C, D meets here, and the last one. So we are going to use this one and this one, only two lines. We are going to use A, B, C, D, this point and this point of intersection. So this one and this one. That means because this is our 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 drawing for the front elevation, we are going to project these points to meet this line and we draw curves. Now this one we cannot project them here because we we moved point O. If it were on the same line, we could just draw draw them and make curves or we make arcs along the this surface so because we have moved this one here we need just to measure literally to do the literal measurement then we come on at O and make an arc so what we are saying is we are going to carry the first point this point here from O Then we come with it at O here. Then we make an arc. Then again we cut this other one to see this line for CD. We come here and make an arc. So we join these lines to the apex. how do we establish those points first we shall say line a b it is this one here we took this so because this is c we can call this one d and this one is a and this is d we have to come back to c because we are cutting along c to open up therefore we are going to say a b this is the line that gave us a b we look for where A is, we put up a mark, and then we look for B. Where B is, we put a point. And then next is C, D. We come here, we look for this line. It is this one that gave us C. So where C is, we put a dot, and then we also put a dot at C. And then where D is, on the same line, we put a dot. So we are going to have this point, this point, this one, this one. Now we are going to play with straight lines. If we join, we join with straight lines, this is what we get. And now this one becomes the development for the lateral face of our first term. We are just so much interested in getting this particular development. And therefore also these edges will have to be drawn using your outlines because we are going to curve along these lines or we are going to fold back so as to get our our first trunk along the length thank you very much for watching consider subscribing to my channel for notification of more content that will be uploaded